for the night time comes out.
I believe that Martin O'Malley knows how to do this. When we talk about tough times and tough leadership, we know how Martin O'Malley will lead. Building on the strong legacy of his first term, we know that the decisions he will need to make will be based on values. And his first set of values will always come from his beloved family. Today we have with us his mother, Barbara. I know deep in his heart he misses his father, Tom, on this lovely day, his wonderful wife, Judge Katie, and their four, four wonderful children. And in that family, they grew up believing that everyone is your family, that we are all in it together, that each one needs to help the next one, whether it's your brother or sister. But Martin O'Malley, believes that everyone is your brother and sister. So when he goes to make those decisions, when he looks at that data, and we all know that Martin, Governor O'Malley, is a data-driven guy, but he's also a purpose-driven guy. That for him, it's not about numbers. It is not about statistics. It is about people. And that's why he is so committed to moving Maryland forward, to strengthen our middle class, to have a laser focus on jobs, to build on the federal assets that we have, like NIH, the National Security Agency, to build an innovation economy, but also to make those public investments in our young people so that they will have a future. For Martin O'Malley, this election was not only about this election, it was about the next generation. And we know that will drive so many of his decisions. His values are also rooted in his faith that he learned again from his family at the church and at Gonzaga High School. You see, deep down, Martin O'Malley guides his life by Matthew 5, the Beatitudes. And one of the great lines from there are those who hunger and thirst after justice. He brings savvy, he brings know-how, he brings youthful idealism. And that's why with those characteristics, he will be able to us I've known Martin O'Malley for over 25 years. In my very first campaign, he was in, he was my field director. In this last campaign, he was my field director too. Not bad. Not everybody could point at that for And it was there that he, at one event, when he was supposed to be carrying this little stool, he walked across the room and he said, who's that girl with current? meaning our former attorney general. I said, she's not a girl, she's a woman, and that's Teddy Curran. Down went to school, he left me at the podium. <laughs> and while I was trying to impress the audience, he was trying to impress Katie Curran, who's now Katie Curran O'Malley. <laughs> I think that's a pretty good story. years have been a lot of late night chats. And it's always been about issues, about what's going on. But for Martin O'Malley, it's always been about people. And as he takes the mantle of his second term, it will always be about people. Not only moving Maryland forward, but putting people first as we move Maryland forward. He's going to bring vigor, vitality, vision to the State House. He's going to be able to lead us during dark times and even during good times. And ladies and gentlemen, I think you would agree that as we look ahead, for Martin O'Malley, he will always stand up for the little guy or the little guy, gal. And that's why we want to be able to stand up for him today. And in closing, I would like to quote Ralph Waldo Emerson about a nation's strength. Because a nation's strength is really its people and its leadership. And this is what Emerson said on a day like today. What makes a nation's pillars high and its foundation strong? What makes it mighty to defy the foes that round it throng? Not gold, but only men and women, a people, only men and women make a people great and strong. Men and women who for truth and honor stake stand fast and suffer long. Brave men who work while others sleep. Brave men who dare while others 